Chapter 2, What is Done Five of us won't be enough. We need all six. We'll be stronger as five. So they're leaving her out of it? Come with me. That was ominous. I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. Okay, well, I'm gonna go grab some books for our trip. We don't have much time, so uh, I'll be back to help you pack in a few. Is he even in there? You're not wrong. I can do it. No, you can't. I won't hesitate again. You yeah, you will. will. You will wait here quietly. If we're not back by sunrise, go home. Yeah, she's not going to stay put, though. She's picking up on something that we, the audience, are also supposed to pick up on, which is that things are not as they seem. It's not as black and white as dragons good. Elves good, humans evil. She's trying to fit herself into this identity, but it's not because she wants to do these things necessarily. It's just because she wants to feel like she's supporting the people around her or she's supporting her people or something like that. This is obviously the beginning of her journey. And I'm guessing something about her being left behind is going to lead to her causing mischief that in some way reveals things to her or opens her eyes in some way. It's just not the path for her. She probably has a much bigger role to play. I can fix this. Yeah, now you're going to mess it up. Is this the dark magic? Looks very sinister. You should have seen the look on your face. It was completely adorable. Ridiculous. Ooh. Adorable? Did I? Don't get your hopes up, though. Adorable is something you say to a little brother, not a boyfriend. My girlfriend never called me adorable. My mom calls me adorable. Not recently, but you know what I mean. Okay, recently. So he's 15. How old is she? She looks like she's 20. Is this shipping? Am I shipping right now? I'm not shipping them. Yet. Ew. <laughs> a real storm. Captured from the top of Mount Caleb. That's incredible. Cool. You're so lucky you get to learn magic. Well, you get to learn sword fighting. I'd switch places in a second. <gasps> That's smart. Get her to teach you. Use your head. I do not understand girls. I don't understand this girl. I've accepted that tonight I may pay the price for our mistakes. Our mistakes. Claudia and I are still searching for a creative solution. Call it what it is. Dark. Black magic. Dark magic. I've spent years going along with these creative solutions. And where has it gotten me? I don't understand. I know you don't. Leave me. Interesting. Yeah, I'm getting a bad feeling about this guy. <laughs> Something about him. And it's not just the dark magic. So yeah, the king obviously has some issues with the way they're doing things, but they're sort of back into a corner. If they've used dark magic to get this far, and now they're vulnerable to attack, you can see how the temptation would be there to like double down on that. This guy has bigger plans though. He, he sees the future of dark magic. You can just see it in his face. What does that mean? What is that? With yeah. the nose, the finger? Not everyone speaks Claudia, Claudia. It means I've got something. Ezrin? He's not in there. Try the bakery. <laughs> what? Of course we're both here. Why wouldn't we be? Right. Well, the king wants to see you alone, Prince Callum. Oh, perfect. But he could have seen both of us if he wanted to. Of course. <laughs> the guard is so done. <laughs> We don't need to talk. <laughs> that NPC dialogue though, pretty good. Nice upper body strength. <laughs> I know I'm not your birth father, but I want you to know that oh, this isn't easy. Man, he's like giving up on life. Break the seal when Wow. You've been killed. I've done terrible things. I thought they were necessary. Now I don't know. But I do know I will pay the price for the choices I made. It sort of feels like the king has just lost control. Like things have just deteriorated around him. But you're the king. You can do anything. <laughs> uh, the great illusion of childhood is that adults have all the power and freedom. The truth is the opposite. 
There's this arbitrary line between child and adult, but the reality is a lot less clearly defined. It's a weird experience realizing for the first time that your elders are just bigger versions of you, that there's no actual distinction, that they're just as messed up, maybe even more messed up because they've had more time to cement their bad habits or to allow their lives to spiral out of control. Take care of your brother. He really has given up. Sad. It's a huge burden for Callum to have. That's his whole world that just melted. I will do this. What's gonna happen? I don't think she's gonna kill the king. Is she gonna run into Callum? Yes? Is that you? Nope. You know you can't sneak up on me. Oh! <laughs> Right. There are only two targets tonight. Wait, two? Oh no, the the prince. And I'm also here for his son, Prince Ezrin. I am Prince Ezrin. That was brave. Its bite drains and consumes the spirit of its prey. Two heads, two bites, two souls held at once. And through magic, I can switch your spirit with another. Yeah, I don't trust this guy. This guy seems like the classic evil advisor where he keeps pushing the, the king to do shadier and shadier things, but meanwhile he's actually consolidating power or something like that. The king increasingly faces this conundrum where he can either do what he feels is right and avoid the dark magic, or win. And the advisor obviously has stakes in the king continuing down the path of dark magic. And the king is sort of like, he just seems drained, like just tired from everything he's been through. And his conscience is obviously eating at him, but he's also tempted by the dark dark forces because he you know he'd like to live but it feels like with every choice he makes he loses more and more of himself and he's like losing his his essence to actually be a strong figure and i feel like that's how things often are you know it's like your worst traits or your worst habits they start off small and you got to be careful not to practice them because they become your identity over time and so it seems like the king has just gradually become someone who capitulates i have to do this you're not gonna do it i have to nah an assassin doesn't decide right and wrong only life and death she's trying to convince herself right now then it's a cycle you hurt me, someone will get revenge against the elves. It won't end. Callum. Callum. It's not a good time. You mean because you're with a girl? <laughs> yes. Callum, what's going on? Callum? I thought you were Prince Ezrin. Say hello to my little friend. Was he have powers? Nice. I won't hide in the body of another while someone else dies paying good. the price for my decisions. I would rather die than live as a coward. Nice. Damn, that gives you so much more respect for him. At least he has some dignity left. At least he has some principles rather than just letting himself get talked into everything. What do you think got us here? Dark magic. You're acting stubborn and ungrateful. That's no way to talk to a king. Thank you for angering the dragons and the elves so much that tonight they are here for my life. Every one of these men and women would gladly trade their life to save yours. They don't look so sure. Would you, Viren? I... <laughs> Get out. Yeah, that's smart. But you're gonna make an enemy now. This guy has... he has ambitions. Rock, stone, rock, stone, stone, rock, stone, rock. It took me over a month to figure out that combination. How did you... I just pressed all the stones with the jelly handprints. Oh no. Oops. Please look. Is it the egg? I can hear something inside. Something alive. It is. Wait, so who took it? It wasn't destroyed. But why? But why? <laughs> Wow. So I'm really enjoying the show so far. It'll be really interesting to see what happens with the invasion and what happens with the king. I feel like they're setting him up to die, but the discovery of this egg obviously raises a lot of questions. Like, first of all, who put it there? Was it the advisor? And also, what does it mean for the war? And I bet there's going to be people who actually still would like to destroy it. And I'll bet there are also people who still would like to attack the humans, even if the egg remains intact. There's obviously a lot more to the story underneath the surface that they haven't revealed yet. And I'm really looking forward to getting into it and seeing what those things are. But anyway, that's the end of this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon for the next episode, episode three.